Right, so you clicked on this video because you don't know what lens to buy. You're on YouTube and you're searching all the reviews for telephoto lenses, for wide lenses. Shall I get a prime lens? Shall I get a zoom lens? Well, I'm about to make your life a lot easier. Give me a second. Bosch. Bosch. The Sigma 85mm f1.4. So why this lens? Well, let me tell you. It's because this is the most popular for portrait photographers, right? So obviously we're not portrait photographers, we're car photographers, but the reason they like it so much is because it's the perfect compression. So 85mm gives you that nice natural compression that a human face looks like to the normal eye. 85mm is that nice middle ground and it's the same with cars. 16mm distorts the car, makes it look really wide if you're going for that look. 200mm really compresses it, but 85mm makes it look really, really nice. It adds that little bit of aggression to the car and it just focuses in and makes it look really like cinematic. It's just sick. Like, look at these photos. These are all on the 85mm shot from like that front on perspective. And it just makes them look so much better. So compression is definitely the first reason why you should get this lens. It just makes you look like a better photographer. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing when I first started and I was using this lens, but this lens kind of disguises that because the compression looks so cool anyway. It just makes you look like a better photographer. So you can't really take a bad shot with this. I mean, you probably could, I definitely have, but most of the time this is gonna give you sweet bangers without even trying. So the second reason you should buy this lens is because of the low f-stop. It also comes with a lens hood, wow. So it goes all the way down to f1.4. So for an 85mm with that compression and it can go all the way down to f1.4, just makes the photos look even better as well. So if you don't know anything about f-stop, it's basically the lower the number, the more of the subject is in focus and the background's blurry and then the higher the number the subject and the background is all going to be in focus basically so you can really zoom in on like a badge of a car and have everything else blurry and that badge is going to be crisp and sharp focus it's really really nice compared with the compression it just makes for the best detail shots i always use this for the interior like so many times people are like oh why are you not using a wide lens for interior? I'm like, yeah, but look at the 85 mil shots I can get with interior. I can stand really far back from the car, shoot through a window and get that steering wheel badge, like the Porsche logo or whatever, really, really sharp and everything else is gonna be nice and out of focus and it just completely changes the photo. It makes it look so much better than everyone else's. It also has a little f-stop ring, so you can actually, let me take this lens off again. I don't know why I keep putting it back on, but you can actually turn the f-stop on the actual lens itself. So I've got a little button here that you can press. Where is it? that releases it and then it goes side to side and you can just turn it while you're actually looking. And then there's an also, there's a button where you can have a little click. So if you listen to this, oh yeah, that's satisfying. So that clicks through and you can just be aiming, you can turn this, I don't really use it, but it's just nice to have anyway. And then you can just lock it back into place. And then you've also obviously got the manual focus ring, which every camera has. But again, I don't really use that. I just use the camera's autofocus. So you've got your compression. You've got your low F stop at F1.4. What is the last thing why you should get this lens? And I don't actually know. So let me check my notes. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's just the sharpness. It's just how good of a photo this takes. Like it's, you wouldn't even realize this is not a Sony G Master, which is like what, 1,200, nearly 500 pounds. This is only 999, so 999 pounds, what it was when I brought it, it might be cheaper now. Um, and it literally can, performs the same as a G Master. I see photos taken with a G Master and then people see mine like, oh, what lens is that? And when I tell them it's a Sigma, they're like, oh, really? I'm like, yes, it is, because they do just a good a job. They're very, very, I say they're the best second company to Sony for lenses, like quality wise. The sharpness on this thing, like look at the fucking size of that. That is a massive piece of glass. Barely. And it's because it's their art lens as well. So they Sigma do contemporary lenses and then they do art lenses and the art lenses are a little bit more expensive. I'm pretty sure they only do an art lens for the 85mm. Um, it's just sharper glass basically. So you're gonna get a crisper photo. Obviously you're gonna get some bits on the edges that are not as sharp, but who the fuck's looking in the top right hand corner for a photo? No one is. So uh, yeah, definitely sharpness is the last point why you should get this. Compared with the f-stop and with the compression, all those three things together make this the only lens you need for car photography. And I know there are cheaper options. I used a 35 mm Sigma for so long, which is also a really good lens. But as soon as I saved up and invested in this, this has completely changed my photography. The way I take photos, the way my photos look, the clients I book because of this lens. I'm not even joking, I've booked jobs because of the way my work looks. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm there filming a video, but it just looks so good as a video. I'll show you some clips now. This thing for video is ridiculous as well. It makes it look like a movie because it can go F1.4 at 4K, whatever your camera can shoot at, but most cameras can shoot at 4K. That compression with that f-stop 
and the 4K makes it look so, so good and you look so much more professional. People are like, wow, you're really good. And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm just pointing the camera. <laughs> I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. I mean, obviously I have a little bit of an idea, but you know what I mean? This is definitely worth the investments. If you're looking for a new lens and you don't know what one to get, I highly recommend saving up for the 85mm. I will leave it linked below so you can have a look, plus all my other gears down there as well. So if you wanna look at any other gear I use, I normally go for like budget, high-end budget stuff, so like not the crazy top stuff, but as stuff that's gonna get the job done just as good. So that's all linked down below. Um, and then yeah, go over to my Instagram if you wanna see any more proof. I'll also leave a video right here for you to check out. Um, I hope it's the right side, whatever side it is, for you to check out a full video of me using the 85mm. So I'm not explaining that, I'm just using it in like a POV or whatever, so you can see some in-action shots. But yeah, hopefully that's helped. Get off YouTube, stop scrolling for reviews. You know what lens to buy. If you like the look of those shots, then get yourself an 85mm because it's fucking amazing. It's honestly the best lens ever. But yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, yeah, leave me a little subscribe or a little like. It would help me out. I make some car content with photography as well. So you might enjoy some of my other videos. Check them out. This will be in the description with my other gear. That's it. See you in a bit.